Hey guys, this series is going to teach you in depth how the advanced brush settings work in Photoshop. In this video, I'm going to explain the brush tip shape settings. Let's get started. The brush tip shape settings are the very first thing that you want to look at when you're creating or editing a Photoshop brush. Now Photoshop comes with a variety of different brush tips which you can see in the brush palette. The main ones you see are the soft round brush, the hard round brush, and the hard elliptical brush. These other icons you see are art brushes and are meant to be used with a graphics tablet. We won't be covering these brushes in this series, but you'll learn more about them in other videos. In this example, we'll be starting with one of Photoshop's default brushes, the hard elliptical brush. So if I paint with this brush, you'll see that it has a nice soft elliptical stroke. The first thing that you'll see if you have brush tip shape selected is a size slider. You can decrease or increase the size of your brush by adjusting the slider up and down. You can also use the shortcut keys, which are the left square bracket and right square bracket keys to increase and decrease the size of your brush. You can find these keys next to the letter P on your keyboard. Next you'll see a Flip X and a Flip Y checkbox. If you check the Flip X checkbox, you'll notice that your brush tip flips on the X axis. And if you check the Flip Y checkbox, it flips it on the Y axis. Since our brush is just a regular ellipse, flipping it on either axis will give us the same result. Next, to the right of that, you'll see this little icon right here. This sets the orientation or rotation of your brush tip. If I click on this little arrow and drag it around, you can see that I can rotate my brush tip to a different orientation. Or I can click and drag on these two circles here to make my brush rounder or flatter. You can also set these values numerically using the angle and roundness values to the left. Under that you'll see the hardness, which lets you paint either a hard brush stroke or a nice soft feathered brush stroke. You can change these values using shortcut keys, which are shift left square bracket and shift right square bracket to give your brush a softer or a harder edge. Lastly, you'll find a value called spacing. If I have it set down to 1%, you can see that my brush strokes are nice and smooth. If I turn the spacing up and then paint on my canvas, you'll see that each mark that my brush stroke makes is more spread out. Usually a value of about 25% or lower will give you a nice smooth brush stroke. If I turn spacing off altogether, then the spacing between each mark my brush strokes makes depends on how fast I paint on my canvas. If I paint slowly, I get a nice smooth stroke, and the faster that I paint, the more spread out my brush stroke becomes. You can also conform your brush strokes to a straight line by holding shift as you paint, just like I am. Now that you know the basics of working with brush tips, you can move on to the more advanced features. Check out the other videos in the Photoshop Brushes Advanced Features series to learn more. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.